I feel like Eagles fans are looking at this offseason as a way to catapult the Philadelphia Eagles into a contender. And while that might be true, we might get somewhere with these guys out here, I do feel like the Eagles need to be a little bit cautious. Let's talk about why. What's going on you guys? It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and this is Philly Philly the Podcast. So today I do want to talk about this offseason and why I want the Eagles to be a little bit cautious stepping into it. But before we get into that, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, join the family. We are on the road to 4K. We would love for you guys to join that ride. But let's just get into this, right? So the Eagles have a little bit of money. I think we're at number 14 right now as far as the league goes with our salary cap space around $18 million. I've seen $21 million somewhere floating around there. I'm gonna stick to that in optimism, right? Uh, but either way, so we're looking at around 18, probably could get way more if we restructure, if we make some deals, right? So there's things that the Eagles can do as far as free agency goes and keeping some guys of their own. We have our own restricted free agents and, and our own unrestricted free agents as well. So it'll be interesting to see if they wanna keep some of those guys. Before we get into the guys that aren't going to be here or, or, or weren't, here before let's talk about the guys that you know were here before and realistically off the top of my head the only guys I'm really stepping to with a contract right now is Singleton and my guy Nate Herbig I'm very high on Nate Herbig I think he's a very good player for a very good uh, contract and that's something that the Eagles need right now something every team in the NFL honestly the, the Eagles are in a great situation when it comes to our offensive line we're blessed they're young and they're cheap moving forward so either way I go on a tangent uh, so those are the only two guys I'm looking at as far as old Eagles that I want back you know that I'm really gonna make a chase for uh, but if you look at the guys that are out there we've seen a lot of wide receivers right there's gonna be a good amount of wide receivers that are gonna be free agents gonna be available through trade and this is where I say the Eagles need to be cautious right the Eagles have a, a history of getting those 27 to 28 year olds that are kind of second contract, second, third contract, kind of, you know, in the lieu of their contract or in their in their career, they're kind of in that, you know, cloudy space of, are they gonna be able to still perform? And we give them a shot and hope that they do. But right now the Eagles have to look young. That is the most important thing. It is not important to go get the hottest name out there right now. Uh, we have to get young. So when you look at this, this class, I think that it makes sense to go out there and put some money out there. But we also understand that the free agency period is where teams overpay. Teams are gonna overpay for athletes. And I don't want the Eagles to get caught into an ugly contract that's gonna be five, six years down the line. I think it might be in the Eagles' best interest to pick one player that they really truly feel is going to be worth the price tag. Maybe it's a Marcus Williams at safety. And I think in my heart of hearts, that's who I'm thinking. Uh, but maybe you, you select one guy and like I said, like maybe a Marcus Williams, somebody that's at the top of their dry, uh, of their free agency class, of their you know position group. You take that guy, and then you get those bargain deals, like kind of like what we did in 2016 when we got Alshon, right? When we got Alshon, he was the guy, he was the cream of the crop, and then we were able to get some guys, you know, Patrick Robinson, and then we can probably name a couple more. Uh, but you know, we, we were able to get some veterans on cheap deals, one-year deals. That's where I see the Eagles prospering. I don't see the Eagles going out there and just handing out contracts. I don't see the Eagles winning by going out there and handing out draft picks for proven players. This is the time the Eagles need to look towards the future. So I, I, I get, I'm very optimistic about this offseason and I feel by the numbers, right? You know, with all these draft picks, Howie has to be able to, and his team, they have to be able to get, get it right at, at least most of the time, right? I'm hoping for like 40, 50%. I don't think that's too much to ask, but I just get nervous about us trying to build this team through free agency. That's not who we are. Building it through trades, that's not who we are. Uh, it, the biggest reason it gets me nervous is you look at a team like the LA Rams, and I feel like they did that, right? They, they created that blueprint, and now I think some teams will try and copycat that and try to mimic what they did and I'm not trying to be that guy I'm not trying to be that team that can't watch the first round of the NFL draft for four or five years row so you guys let me know what you're thinking how do you feel about this um, free agency how do you feel about this offseason what worries you the most right what what gets you kind of worried about how we in this this organization that they might do that might tick you off a little bit but other than that y'all know what it is man it is fly goes fly and we are out here
Jacks are like Sean, hunting like Brando. Season hit, early time to do them in. Your boy Philly Fresco, thanks for tuning in.